Welcome back everyone, the De Pebbles here again with the next how-to video. This time we are going to be playing Zonkwe. I know it's been a minute, sorry, holidays, fancy new chair. We're going to get you back into it. Zonkwe is one of my favorite mages. He's back in the game since the uh, last patch. We'll be good to go. We'll get in, we'll run through some of his abilities, some of his build, and we'll be able to go from there. One of Zonkwe's immediate strengths is um, his presence. He clears a line, a, a wave, creeps, whatever you want to call it. He clears it a lot faster than any other god. Um, I wouldn't say the fastest. I mean, uh, Kukul Khan has pretty fast clear, but Zonkwe has a clear that is pretty obvious how good it is. Whoops. Let's do this. Uh, you always want to personally... I always build Bancroft, uh, very much so. Zonkwe is good for lifesteal. So you always want to make sure you're taking full advantage of his lifesteal. But, quick overview, if you guys want to throw it up. His passive, he actually captures demons um, with his abilities. Each captured demon he stores in his bag and that gives him additional protections. Um, this The stack rate you can stack up to what is it now doesn't say it. you can stack up to 60 and you get half a protection per stack so just by using your abilities you can get an additional 30 protections without actually having to use any items so it does make him a tankier choice but our abilities are one puts that book down on everyone and it makes throws a demon on anyone that it hits it slows them down and does damage over time it also ties in very well with um, your two ability to actually work off each other. So you throw your one, possess everything, and then two actually captures all of the souls and throws it into your demon bag. So if you look now, I now have 16 stacks in my demon bag already. So that's giving me additional eight protections on top of uh, my natural protections. So this is why he is such a dangerous player. And with that, anything you hit will heal you at the same time. And of course, anything affected by your one and then hit by your two does extra damage or, however you want to look at it, extra healing. Um, and then your three is a pretty basic circle attack and it's just an immediate stun to anything standing in its um, vicinity. So it's really easy, it's a very simple job to play, because it's a lot of just making sure to build your bag up, because you don't want to get into a lot of fights without your bag build, because then you don't have your stacks, you don't have your extra protections. And your ultimate actually also feeds entirely off of how many stacks you have. Um, so if you pull it up real quick, it'll pull out all the demons in his bag, hitting every player for five seconds. They chase and accelerate over time, doing damage as each spirit hits. So the more spirits you have, the more chances you have to hit. And if you look at that, that's a guardian taking huge damage already just in me from the immediate too. And there's the stun at work, but there's a little bit of bleeding damage I couldn't really affect that much. A couple negatives about Song Quay. Mobility. Guy can't move to save his life. Um, other than mobility, it's going to be your early game mana. Um, early game mana is a huge struggle, and it's really what can make or break this game if you don't know how to appropriately handle it. Hopefully, they can will help me out with some mana here. As far as leveling of abilities, you want to focus your one and your two, because your one is the book that's obviously doing this damage over time for me right now. Um, and then your two. You want to do them at the same time. That way you can just get really big burst damage, which is all Zonkwe's got. One other thing that's not very well known. Um, while my one's not active, I have that little flying skull, oh, skull, scroll to my left side. Um, all that little guy does is give me an extra attack. If you look, I have two little beams coming out when I attack. But... Uh, that actually goes away when I use my abilities. And I'm actually going to get out at that point. But 
to watch out for that Loki. Eyeing me down. So moving on, you want to do your Bancroft boots. Um, obviously, you always want to go boots next. So you can go Focus or Magi's. It just depends on what you're looking for. Um, I'm going to go Magi's on this build. Just because I'm looking for a little bit more power compa compared to the cooldown. Um, I build cooldown late in this build, so I don't need to focus on that. I'd rather get the additional power so my burst can hit that much harder. So just like that, line's already cleared. It's that simple with Zongkwe. Easy character to use, but he's not commonly used, so a lot of people miss out on a lot of his benefits. Just look at the first game. Something a lot of other gods can't do, um, and even late game, depending on how you build, he's very immune to a lot of the protections that other gods are going to build. Um, especially if you build a lot of penetration, you build an Obs Shard or a Divine Ruin, you're able to still pull through and do good god damage. Real good damage from it. Looking for that Thor all. Nope, he's not coming in. So with that, we have now seen all the abilities. We'll start getting into some good fights here in a little bit. Let's see what we can build off of him. chase a little bit there. Had to get rid of him. It's not a fight I want to pick. And if you look at it right there, it's doing 39 tick damage and his movement was slowed. So that's one of the, one of the most underutilized abilities that um, Zong has is just his slow. Most people only use that, the 1-2 combo for the burst damage. Um, but it's actually a huge factor that can be used with um, just CC. He does have a little bit of CC with his stun and the slow. But next up, I don't know if you guys saw, I'm going to be building the spear. Give me a little bit of penetration and that passive's just always good because it lowers their protections, allowing my burst damage to do even more, of course. Because that is all Zong cares about. But if you look, I don't have full stats. Just have you stunning each other. Really, I'm just having a Loki at this point. There he is. Yeah, you don't want to throw a two by itself because you're basically wasting a lot of your damage. Right here, I'm going to do this to give you help. Ah, oh, he ulted me. That was smart. Get me out of the way. That was great. I was acting like my ult was triggered. Hmm. So I missed that. Not the best, but... So right there, that should actually be enough to kill him. Oh, Thor even came in to help. So definitely enough to kill him. More than enough to kill him. But that is just kind of... A little bit of the power Zonkwe. Very strong, very bursty god that you don't really see in the mage class as much. A little tricky at first, because if you don't combo it right, if you're throwing the one without the two, or the you just throw the two, you're kind of wasting a lot of your abilities. That's where a lot of people don't see the Because he is a little... A little different than a lot of the mages. That's very similar to the first damage he does. Be right back. No. Evil will stand no chance. Um, I'm gonna go for a Kronos just for an ally has been oh, slain. I don't have enough for it. 
but the Chronos is a really good one just to get a little bit of that extra cooldown, a little bit of extra power. And then from there, you can see what they're building. They're not building any protections yet, so I'm not going to build heavy on penetration. I'll probably build an charge. I don't really need the Divine because they're also not building any life steel. And right there, we're already looking at 276 magical power. We're looking at three levels up. He, he can take over a game very well. And there's actually a complete second way you can play this character. So I'm playing the damage build version of him. Um, he's a pretty common solo laner in um, Conquest as well. Because with just his passive ability of um, endlessly building stacks, endlessly building stacks that provide protections, he is very really good at being able to uh, hold his own in a lane and take some damage. Just like that, we're gonna kind of run for our lives. There's a Loki over here, but Loki just DC'd. Even kills. I'm not gonna waste any abilities on that. That Goomba is without his passive, so that'll be fun. Trap yourself in the corner against a. Ooh, just like that. I mean, you just saw immediately from half health to no health. Oh, would have hit that. That would have been another kill. Mm. Oh, was anyways. That's a little bit of that extra damage from that one. Look at this, we're even we're entering level 12 right game and I'm still really mana hungry. Um, so that is, like I said, one of the main issues with this character. You gotta use your mana sparingly and constantly either have pots or be going for those mana bucks. Otherwise it's just gonna turn into a major issue. And real quick too. Yep. Clears fast. The burst damage is ridiculously high. Wish I would have had that buff, but I feel more out of it. And just like that, down to no help. And I'll let Thor get the up. Killing spree. Here's it. With that, I have full stacks, 3,000 coins. We'll be able to go back, immediately go full Kronos and come right back. Oops. We're going to have a little bit of fun. We'll build a little blink just to see if we can't get a couple. But that is Zong Kui in a nutshell. Um, the big counters to him is... It, it's hard for him to fight multiple at once if they come in from different directions because both your one and your two are very directional attacks. So you can't force them in different directions as much as you might like. Um, which does lead into a lot of different issues. An ally has been slain. Ah, oh, just like that. That's why I get pretty little fun. Over here. But we are gonna Shut go. Do, do, do. do we want that or do we want it? Let's look at it again. We're gonna go to mine. Since they're not really good with life steal or they built physical protections. Don't understand that too much. Um, that's going to be the last time I'm going to more on our game instead of already 
would be those exceptions that we don't need for any reason whatsoever. But really good uses for Zong um, are going to be solo laning. Great solo laner, great mid laner. Terrible duo laner. You don't want to share a lane with Zong because sharing a lane with Zong, you're basically guaranteeing yourself to um, not get any XP because he will clear a line faster than you. That's just a guarantee. Um, so. If that is your game style, if you're thinking with the meta switching, you want to use him over in the um, duo lane as your mage, not heavily suggested because your support will not get any XP other than the regular assist. He does not share very well. And by very well, I mean not at all. That's only a disadvantage of him. If you're curious, um, about kind of like how to build him as a tank. Um, I do know a few good builds for that because that's actually how I made him, is I use tank build Zong. Um, I don't use him as a mid very often or a, a true damage dealer. Um, so if you have any questions about that, leave a, make sure you leave a comment in on the video and I will make sure I reply and get back to you. Or feel free to follow me as well. Like I said, he's a pretty common play of mine. So, uh, yeah, you'll see plenty of gameplay for the moment. Okay, let's move. Whew. Gosh, I don't know what took so long on that one. Well, that's funny. If I can get out. Oh, she caught me. That's okay. Allows me to get full. pull up on that. Oh, last thing we're going to go is we're going to go for an Ethereal just to get my healing up a tiny bit more. What we're looking at already, we're already looking at 11, 2, 5. Top damage, top kills, top kills. Zong can control a game if you know how to use it the right way. And that should be a big focus. Hopefully this Thor is over here throwing up this game though, because he goes for the tank and not the squishies. Looks like he might go to Snake Force. Used his beats so randomly. Alright, here we go. We're back up. See how much extra little damage we can get going. We're looking at 405 power now. how fast am I clear goes. So he's really good at keeping some pressure down um, that he finally built a good item. Thinking she can keep up with me in a fight will be interesting because she, she, she won't come anywhere close to me. I'm over here for this damage above. That back to full health, good on mana, 500. Power. We're gonna blink in there. See if we can't pick up a double. Oh, she just healed herself. Doing that, see if I could hit one through the wall. It didn't work. Ooh, that was a good dodge by that little dude. Still got him though. Damage over time. Perks that one. Even if you don't know for sure, you're gonna hit that too. So sometimes it's worth throwing that one. 
Don't throw the two without the one, though. Heal up a little bit from this camp. 900 health, way up to 1900 in one little push. Two shot that. Slow, taking the bullet even, but this is just for the sake of showing that we can't. Oh, he's going to be able to pray. With that, we'll come back, we'll get a full ethereal. That'll knock out my healing even more, give me some power. Oh man, really, that's to stop that idiot. Um, whatever he's called. Kuma. And from here, we should be able to just basically go end game. Got a little extra XP, XP on the way. We'll go all the way around, back behind the Kumba. No idea where Loki is right now, but not going to be pretty well. Maybe I'll Just like that, this was a wonderful example of just how exactly you could play. Oh. Whoops, that's what I get. Got a little cocky. Wonderful example of a good way to play. Wrong way, I'm gonna actually die right here. Mm. Got stopped up for a second. But that's enough to slow him down. But I'm actually out of commission for a minute. Um, but that, like I said, Zong is great at the pressure. Keeping it up, and now we're looking at, at the base, 575 without any of the pots or anything that we're actually about to go grab. Because why not? We gotta show just how thirsty our boy can be. We got Thor and Bacchus up. The Titans two shots away. I probably should have stayed in there and actually taken it, um, but without any defense items. Now that that Neath is actually building a little bit. Makes it a little harder. We should be able to just go straight back there. If anyone gets in our way, we have every ability up. Won't even turn into much of a fight. She is, but we'll look at the damage output here real quick, just kind of show exactly how much damage was done. It's simple. Hit him with the one. Hit 
hit them with the two, say goodbye to their help. If this decides to follow uh, through. Uh, there we go. Come in here and let's look at our details. Just in that we did 22,000 player damage with 72,000 um, minion damage. But that is on play. So ultimately, thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and reply back to this video. Don't forget to check out uh, Sessit, Dude Skills, and Vita Pebbles on Twitch. Um, and if you like what you saw, like, comment, subscribe. Let's build some awareness and build this page up. Thanks.